right guys, here we have an ornate box turtle. And uh, in the last video, we uh, were able to come across this in the neighborhood. And uh, we showed you uh, kind of what it looks like up close and the cage that we built for it. Because as of now, we are keeping it as a pet at Hayden's house. And uh, so this video, we are going to get bit by it. It bit us a few times in the last... Uh, we didn't show it biting us in the last video, but it did bite us a few times, and we want to try it for the Animal Pain Index. The last Animal Pain Index video we did was a crayfish, and it was not really painful at all. But we are going to uh, try it with a turtle, and hopefully it will be more, um, uh, this will be more painful as it was last time. So we'll put a card to when we got bit by the crayfish as well as a card to the last video where we showed the cage we made and up close with this cool looking turtle. So uh, we are going it to hopefully get, get it to bite us. So if you want to come a little bit closer so we can get a good shot. It's right there. It's head sticking out. Now the trick is to get it to open. Yesterday it was willing to bite really whenever and the, hopefully we can get the same to happen today. Ah, he got me. So you can see little indentations there. He didn't get me too far up my finger. So it was more of a pinch instead of like a kind of crushing harder force. What I'm pretty sure it hurts more on the edge because it's more of a pinch and gets less skin. So therefore it puts more force on that smaller piece of skin than it did if it got further up my finger. So if I try my pinky now, and get my pinky further in there. It hurts, but it doesn't hurt quite. Ah! <laughs> you can see he he has his mouth and then suddenly he kind of goes like that and just quickly bites down every once in a while. There's, so, ew, he while he closed his eyes right there, he just bit down a lot harder. You can see, it's, it's kind of hard to see because he bit half on my nail and half so there's the underside you can see right where my thumb is pointing to it's red and indentations right there and that definitely hurts quite a bit more than the crayfish for sure crayfish wasn't that bad again the card is up there but this is worse and it it's you can tell it's painful there is a beak which or a mouth it's like a beak birds obviously you have beaks and it is sharp and turtles have similar their front beak curves down and over, and the uh, bottom beak goes up and under, and they're both hard and pointed. So that's what makes it sharp and it can uh, make it pretty painful. And this is nothing as bad as a snapping turtle. N not nearly as bad, but turtles definitely can still hurt. I'm going to try one more time, probably further in on this finger this time, and then it will be Hayden's turn. Switch, I'll switch hands. I'm not gonna let him bite my face. Oh, yeah, I just got like chills up my skin, up through my skin. It doesn't have too far in my fingers, so it is pretty, pretty sharp there on the edges. And you can see, and if you can see like the skin that is kind of pulling into its mouth because it's squeezing it. And uh, so it's pretty sharp. He's, oh! oh. oh I, tr I tried to pull. Oh, this, this, this hurts pretty bad, guys. I tried, <laughs> I tried to pull my finger out of his mouth and he just bit down the hardest he has yet. I gotta, how am I gonna do this? Hey, okay, wait, he's, okay, I'm, I'm just gonna, oh, stop, don't, don't hit his head, don't hit his head. Oh. Oh, I'm just gonna quickly like go for it. Just, oh, okay. Look at that indentation there. That hurts pretty bad. And then you can see on the bottom side of my finger, it is purple where his beak hits. So pretty painful. But now Hayden gets a turn. So uh, we're gonna cut right here and switch to Hayden. All right, guys. So now it is my turn to get bit by this ornate box turtle here. So, as you know, it was pretty painful for Miles, and when it bit him, 
now it is my turn. So that's right. If I can kind of control him, maybe. He bit down hard at first, but then he kind of, like, loosened up his bite a little bit. Oh! Ooh, ah! Okay, ah, ah. you guys can see he just quickly, suddenly bites down oh. again. Let's look at the marks real fast. There's my Wait, finger. Sorry. I'm not shaking from fear, it's just, <laughs> that was really a sharp stabbing pain. As you can see right there, and it's it already turning purple, where his bottom beak went into my finger and then if we roll over to the top you can see oh shoot oops sorry right there you can see exactly its outline yeah of its mouth it's a little bit blurry but it's still should i go again you got two you want to go with your pinky this time i get two you get two that sounds good okay i might try your pinky and then no. then it's a little bit less of a pinch and more just your whole fingers in there so it it actually hurts less. It does? Okay. As long as your pinky's all the way in there. Seems pretty done, but if we can get one more bite to and show the pin. Oh, it looks like he's going. Oh, hold on. Let me get a better grip of him. Okay. Oop. Once. When he's trying to like, walk away. Oh, he's getting ready. Oh. <gasps> oh no! Ah, no! Ah, no! Ah, ah. Oh! He got he got ah. the very end of your finger. I'm gonna set him off to the side. Meander around. Oh jeez! He tore the skin okay, there. Look at look! You can see that right there on his pinky. It just. Ah. He got the very edge. That did not work no. out. I think I'm done. Yeah. It's it's about to bleed. Ooh. It's about to bleed in that one spot. Yeah, I'm going to go wash that off. Yeah. You don't want to get an infection from a turtle that you ha have no idea where its mouth has been, what ha what it has eaten. Yeah. Whew. Okay, guys. Ah. It's already rain over here, so we're, we're going to make this video come to an end but this is the ornate box turtle and so far it has uh, been the one that has caused us the most pain obviously we've only done two this is the one in the crayfish but it did hurt pretty good so you do want to watch out especially with your fingers and if for some reason you're barefoot around them uh just be careful thanks for watching and hopefully we'll see you in the next video